Father God, in the name of Jesus, as once and again we come in your divine presence, oh, yeah. thanking oh. you that we can hold on yeah. to your unchanging hand. Yeah. Amen. And trust the fact that you won't drop us, you won't leave us, you won't desert us. So God, be a great one. Anoint your word on this evening. Minister to our hearts. May your word fall on good ground and bring forth fruit. Yes. For Christ's sake. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, God, for another year, another opportunity to celebrate the bouquet of roses. Thank God for the saints here at Eastern Star and your pastor, Pastor Bennett. Thank God for all that came. Thank God for my brother Tony Jennings and all the labors and co-labors from New Beginnings coming and then we can just come and celebrate yes. together. It's what we ought to do because we believe in Jesus Christ. We ought to celebrate yes. and give him some more glory. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. It's good to know him. Everybody don't know him, so it is good to know him. And so I'm glad about that. If you can rest on your feet just for a moment, I'm going to ask you to turn your attention to the 10th chapter of St. Luke, beginning at the 17th verse. I'm going to read about four verses for you, and then, amen, and let God have his way. St. Luke, the 10th chapter, beginning at the 17th through the 20th verse. Amen. And the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Yeah. Behold, I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding in this rejoice not, that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and yes. hearing of yes. his word. Thank we sanctify you, these truths you may be Amen. seen. Amen. Thank, you, Lord. Thank you for the word. Jesus. What a time we live in that we yet have the full counsel of God's word right before us and we're able to read, study, pray, seek God's word and be able to rehearse what God has said by these divine truths or this divine truth. If I might use for a word this afternoon, it would be coming out of that 20th verse, the latter part. He said, but rejoice rather because your names are written in heaven. I would like to say you've been warned. Check for your name. You've been warned. Check. Check for your name. Check for your name. Jesus. It's not easy being a believer. You don't let anybody fool you. Even though you may have been saved for a long, long time. Amen. We have good days mm -hmm. and we have bad days. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily cut and dry. Mm -hmm. We are asked to do things that are impossible yeah. in the flesh. Mm -hmm. We profess that we believe in God and who we cannot see and we're asked to do things that we have not the power to do but God enables us to get the job done. Mm -hmm. We are determined for that which we walk in faith to believe mm -hmm. and we would stand flat footed and tell anybody and everybody that I believe in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. We've never seen him. We've never touched him if you want to be true about it. But yet we know within ourselves that as believers we have a relationship with a God who we can't see and yet gives us courage to do the things that are impossible and we trust him, oh God, for the results. Yes. I'm like the Apostle Paul in 
Galatians 2 and 20, he kind of gave some clarity on it in the spiritual sense. He said, mm -hmm. I am crucified mm -hmm. with Christ. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, mm -hmm. but Christ liveth in me. Mm -hmm. yes. And he said, the life which I now live in the flesh, mm -hmm. I live by the faith mm -hmm. of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Jesus cleared it up a little better even in that when he spoke of faithfulness in behalf of the believer. He says in St. Mark 8 and 34, and when he had called the people unto, unto him with his disciples also, he said unto them, whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. On the word of Christ alone, we follow him, we deny ourselves, we bear our cross, and we continue to follow. In spite of what we don't see, in spite of what we don't feel, we trust God in faith believing. One of my former pastors used to always love that song, Tis So Sweet to Trust in Jesus. Just to take him, glory to God, at his word. Because I had nothing else to go on but his word. He's in me, but his word is what is profound in my life and allows me to embrace what I don't understand, what I don't know, what I may never know. But God, by his spirit, is able to empower you to believe and trust in that which is impossible. Yeah. So being a believer is not just a stroll down the lane. Yes, sir. Being a believer means that I have to embrace some stuff that on the world side looks foolish. Well. Looks like it's not worthwhile. I mean, even the devil will whisper in your ear, it's not worth it. <laughs> but God in his awesome power yes. will give me the strength to know yes. that it's not by power nor by might yes. but by my spirit yes. Yes. saith yes. the Lord. Yes. So I'm glad that God has an uh -huh. in for me. Uh -huh. I'm glad God's got a purpose for me. Yes. I'm glad he has a design for me. When Jesus called the 70 disciples, yeah. uh -huh. now we know he eventually ended up with 12, yeah. but he called 70. Yeah. I mean, he called a lot of people. He appointed them, yeah. he anointed them, and he sent them oh. in his name. Yeah. They had an assignment. Oh. You and I have assignments because we all believe that God has a purpose for our life. Yes. So therefore, we walk in the fulfillment of it, believing that God will give us the results yes. that we are believing him yes. for. Yes, sir. I mean, when you were young, they'd ask you what you want to be. Some say, I want to be an astronaut. Or, I want to be a fireman. And I don't think before we got saved, many of us said, I wanted to be a Christian. <laughs> so for him to inspire you to want to be a Christian you know God's got to have his hand and his fingerprint on it so Jesus called them he appointed them and the earlier part of that uh, Luke the 10th chapter says in the 10th chapter of Luke beginning at the first verse and these things, and these things the Lord appointed other seventy and sent them two by two uh, face into every city place wherever you went and therefore he said unto them, the harvest is great, mm -hmm. but the laborers are few. Mm -hmm. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send you forth laborers into the harvest. Yes. Go your way. Behold, I send you forth as lamb among wolves. Look at, look at the, the analogy here. He's telling me the harvest is great. Go in there. Yeah. But he said, but the laborers are few. Yeah. Even though it's great, there's going to be few of you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, but I'm still going to send you forth. Yeah. And he says, also, he said, I'm sending you into wolves. Yeah. And he said, also, he said, don't carry nothing. Oh, Lord, let me at least have a stick. Let me at least have something to get off with. 
He said, don't carry no purse, don't carry no strip shoes. He said, but salute and salute no man by the way. Then he says, whatever house you in it, he said, say peace to this house. Can you imagine those kind of orders coming from someone that you barely knew because they didn't know him that well? The ministry had just started, and yet the Lord was was belling out commands like a like a drill sergeant, and they were following with no regard. He said, "You go in there. You say, peace be still. And if the Son of peace be there, not let it rest. And if not be there, he said, the peace will turn unto you again. So they were given the commandment. They were given the appointment. They were given the assignment. And he not only sent them in his name, he gave them power." Through his name. Yes. Yes. He said, everything you're going to do, don't worry about it. I'm behind it. Don't you be confused. Don't you be uh, uh, discouraged because I'm sending you in a process where I'm the one not only commands you, but I'm giving you the courage and the conviction to get the job done. Yes. yes. We have to understand that in the name of Jesus... We occupy a space that's only for a chosen few. Yeah. Mm. Them that have called on the name of Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. And because we call on that name, it has power. Yeah. We call on that name, it has authority. Yeah. So when he sent them in his name, mm. I don't believe they recognized the power to which mm. they were being made a part of. Even when you talk in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. you talk in authority. Mm -hmm. Even when you speak his name in silence, it can shake, amen, it can shake a city in public. Mm -hmm. The name of Jesus, mm -hmm. the power and the authority that comes with his name was released on their behalf. Mm -hmm. And they were assigned to perform a task. Oh, no. But how many know that the, that, that the servant is not greater than his Lord? Mm -hmm. If they rejected him, they will reject you. Yeah. If they receive him, they will receive you. Yeah. The Bible says in St. Matthew 10 and 24, it says, listen, the, the disciple is not above his master, yeah. nor the servant uh, above his Lord. Yeah. It is enough for the disciple that he be as his master and the servant as his Lord. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more shall they call them of his own household? As we are Christ, so our Christ is ours. And as we walk in his name, we identify through his name. The power that he released was dependent upon his name. Yes. The authority that was released yes. was dependent oh, upon his name. Jesus. The so, name of Jesus yes. is able to change the life of mm. whosoever yes. that would believe it. Yes. The name of Jesus can bring conversion by his name. Oh, the Bible true. declares in Acts 4 and 12, neither is there salvation mm -hmm. in any other, yes. for there is none oh, other true. name mm -hmm. under heaven given mm -hmm. among men whereby we might be saved. You can't get saved under the name of Satchel. You can't get saved under the name of Bennett. You can't get saved under the name of Eastern Star. You can't get saved under the name of New Beginning. But when you mention the name of Jesus, it has the authority to convert you and save you by the power of all mighty God. Yes, 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 Not yes. only can his name save you, it can bring conviction to cause you to look at yourself as God sees you. It causes you to look in the mirror when you need to see what your reflection really looks like. The Bible says in St. Matthew 18 and 5, and whosoever shall receive one such little one in my name, he said, receive it me. There is conviction through his name. When I speak the name of Jesus, it causes the sinner to believe. It causes the heretic to take notice. It causes the, the, the one that needs direction to come close to the fire. I don't believe had not God spoke out of the fire, Moses would have came close. We always marvel that the bush burned and was not consumed. But greater than the bush burning and not consumed was the voice that spoke glory to God, spoke out of the bush. 
Yes, yes, yes. And called his name Moses. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And when the voice uh, identified himself, he knew he didn't put his shoes off because of the fire. Mm -hmm. He took his shoes off because of glory to God, the name. Yes. He knew he was in the presence mm -hmm. of Almighty God. Yes. Why? Because the name represented authority. Mm -hmm. And when you move in the name, Mm -hmm. of Jesus it allows you to walk in the sovereign grace of almighty God we have communion by his name the bible says if any two or three are gathered he said in my name he said I'm also in the midst in other words my presence is there Although, even though we know he's omnipresent he said but when you glory to God he says when you speak in my name he said, I'll bear witness to the occasion. How many times have you prayed and you knew that God was with you? You knew that God was concerned about your situation and your circumstance. But as soon as you mention the name of Jesus, oh God, I thank you. You sense the anointing begin to begin to fill the room. In other words, God let you know I'm here. It's just like when he walked through the wall and said, Thomas, uh, come here, put your finger in my side. Uh, you know he's here. Because his name alone is worthy to be praised. His name alone is worthy to be praised. To be praised. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Mm. He has glory in his name. Hallelujah. John 14 and 13 says, And whatsoever you shall ask yes. in my name, yes. that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. And if you shall ask anything in my name, mm -hmm. I will do it. We have the sovereign authority by God mm -hmm. to ask anything in his name. Jesus. Now the interesting part is, the enemy will discourage you to ask anything at all. Uh -huh. But the scripture says that if we ask anything in his name, uh -huh. that the son is glorified uh -huh. in the father. Yeah. Uh, there's glory brought to the Godhead. When we ask glory to God, ask anything yeah. in his name. Yeah. So the devil would dare you not pray in his name. Oh, yeah. Because when you pray in his name, yeah. Yeah. there's glory in the house. Yeah. Yeah. There's glory in the presence. Yeah. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, a fever can break. In the name of Jesus, the dead can get up. In the name of Jesus, glory is made evident. And if we ask anything, he didn't say some things. Mm -hmm. He said, if we ask anything in my name, yes. he said, I'll do it. Yes. In other words, God is obliged that when I walk in his authority and have his sovereign will to guide me through the process, he said, ask it in my name. Because there's power not only in his presence, but in his name. And you got to understand, I can't see him. I can't taste them. Uh -huh. Amen. He's not, listen, he's nothing I can hug. He's nothing I can brace. But when I mention his name, yes. Hallelujah. Ooh, yes. oh, when I mention his name, oh, listen, 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 mortal puts on immortality. Oh, yeah, corruption yes. just puts on incorruption because yes. I sense his presence. Yes. Oh, glory. Mm -hmm. In his name. In his name. Now we can conclude even by talking about this mm -hmm. that his name alone is weighty. Yeah. Yeah. And the Apostle Paul was accused oftentimes by the church at Corinth, by the church at uh, Galatea. They said, Your letters are weighty. Mm -hmm. In other words, you bossy. Mm -hmm. Your letters are heavy. Every time you write to us, you're fussing. Mm -hmm. But when God speaks in his name, mm -hmm. it's weighty. Uh -huh. And it's without comparison. There's nothing you can compare to a move of God. Glory to God in his name. In his name. Nothing you can compare. His, his name is all powerful by itself. 
And folk a lot of times, folk got problems re believing in Jesus Christ. Listen, if you don't trust in his name, mm -hmm. you can't expect a relationship at all with God. You can't expect a relationship at all with the saints of God. Mm -hmm. You can't expect because everything is through his name. Mm -hmm. He was the sacrificial lamb. Oh, yes. He was the Messiah. Yes. He yes. was the one that laid himself down of his own accord and got up of his own strength yes. and said, I am the Alpha yes. and the Omega mm -hmm. by his name. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. I remember on one occasion, the apostles were doing great works after the church had been established and was going through a difficult time of persecution in the book of Acts. And they were going and there was a, a, a sorcerer, a diviner following them. And she began to mimic the name. She said, these men are men of God. These men are prophets. These men are this. These men are that. Mm. He's... He said, listen, first off, he called the devil out. And then he said, listen, you're not who you think you are. Uh -huh. He said, Paul, I know. This one I know. But who are you? Why? Because the name represents authority. The name represents presence. The name represents might. So every time the Lord is Listen, present in our midst yes. and, and magnifies himself in our midst. Yes. You can expect glory. Yes. You can expect presence. Mm. His name alone is all power. Yes. But there was a warning mm -hmm. that was given yes. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to the 70 disciples yes. who were occupying the space of walking in the name of the Lord. Many people say they're walking and doing the will of God. Mm -hmm. 70 people. How could 70 people get it wrong? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, they had power over demons. Yes, they did. They had power over devils. Yes, they did. Wherever they went, they could bless it yeah. or curse it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yet, 70 people got it wrong. Mm -hmm. oh, you got to get this, beloved. Mm -hmm. Because even though they were moving in his authority, mm -hmm. even though they were walking by his command, yeah. mm -hmm. they didn't understand who they were with. Mm -hmm. You can mimic it and not know it. Mm -hmm. You can open your mouth and not be clear. Look at our text here. Look at our text. I'm almost out of your way. Luke 10 and 17. Take your time. And the 70 returned again saying, Lord, even the devils yes. mm -hmm. are subject unto us through thy name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen, listen. Devil got to back up when we use your name. Yeah. He's, and then the Lord says, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, he said, I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, mm -hmm. and over all the power of the enemy, mm -hmm. and nothing sh shall by any means hurt you. Yeah. He said, listen, I've given you power to do it all. Mm -hmm. Not with, Notwithstanding, yeah. <laughs> don't get excited, don't rejoice over this. Yeah. Lord. Mm -hmm. yeah. I realize you laid hands and they got up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I realized they were sick, and in the name of Jesus, they got well. Yes. I realized that when there was confusion in your home, you went around and you anointed everything that could be anointed. Mm. And you said, in the name of Jesus, I want some peace in my house. Yes. And God, by his spirit, brought in peace. But Jesus says, don't you rejoice. He said, don't rejoice. Because you walk and move in my name, yeah. but rather rejoice because your name is written. Yeah. So he said, listen, 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 listen. I'm warning you. He said, be warned. Check for your name. Because you can follow Jesus like 70 other disciples. 
and not know his name. Oh, oh, God. God. You can follow him and not understand the, the, the command, the assignment, and you can be so far off base that you think the power is greater than the name. So he says, listen, I want to clear all this up, that even though I gave you power to tread on the devil, even though I gave you power to, to raise the dead, even though I give you power to live a life that's acceptable to me, he said, I want to warn you, check for your name. Make sure that you are operating in my name. Make sure that it's not, a hey, listen, a, a, a divided loyalty. Yes. Make sure that what you do is what I told you oh, yes, to do. Sir. Yes. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Check for your name. Yes. Check for your name. Yes. Check for your name. I, I, I thought about this. I had to laugh. I said, I, I, I believe in the spirit that sometimes I look over his shoulder and make sure my name was there. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Because... I don't want to do nothing in my name. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Because when they came back, they said, even the devils, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. even the devils are subject mm -hmm. to your name. Mm -hmm. Now, I like, I, I'm going to read this. I want to get this straight. Amen. He said, listen, he says, even, and he said unto now, but hell said, and the seven returns, listen, are subject unto us. Yeah. That's what he messed up. Yeah. They said they're subject unto us through thy name. They lost sight of the fact that his name is above every name. Oh, God, I thank you for your word. You've been warned, beloved. Check for your name. Why? Because our connection is an internal connection. We are connected by the Spirit of God to the presence of God, to the person of God, to the work of God. Understand this. I don't have to feel him to know he's in the room. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So my connection is not what I feel. I don't have to hear him to know he's in the room. I know I'm connected because of who he is by his name. I name the name of Christ because he has put his fingerprint on my life. So therefore, anything that's accomplished, anywhere I succeed, anything I do is not in my name, but his. Yes. So you be warned. Check for your name. Make sure that that which you do is in his name and not in the other. It's an eternal connection. It's more than just a name. Jesus signs our name for all eternity. Think about this, beloved. Not only does he save you, not only does he give you the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. as, a, 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 listen, as a result of believing in him. Yes. Now you would think that would be sufficient. Mm. We often hear many times about the Lord making a tally of what we did wrong. Mm -hmm. But God doesn't make a tally of what we did wrong nor what we did right. But the Bible says that don't rejoice mm -hmm. because of what you've done, That's right. even in my name. Yes, but you be confident of this one thing, mm -hmm. that your name yes. is written. Mm. Your name mm -hmm. is written. Mm -hmm. Seventy people got it wrong. Yes. Mm -hmm. Seventy got it wrong. I dare to say how many people get it wrong today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just saying the name or name dropping is insufficient. Mm. In the world today, they say that it's not what you know, but it's who you know. And I believe that to some point, mm -hmm. that it's who you know. But who I know in the natural does not necessarily guarantee me the peace of God in the spirit. But knowing Jesus Christ gives me peace and confidence that lasts through all eternity. Yes. Now this is a scripture that always baffles me and it still baffles me today. And thank God we don't know it all. We just have to uh, believe it and trust God for the results. Yes. Matthew 7, 21 and 28. 7, 21. I don't think it's uh, 2, 23. I'm sorry. 7, 21.
Matthew 7, 21 to 23. He said, not everyone mm -hmm. that saith unto me, mm -hmm. Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, mm -hmm. but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Mm -hmm. So just name dropping or just saying his name is not sufficient to have my name written. Mm -hmm. I can say his name and not know him. Mm -hmm. I can go to a church all my life mm -hmm. and say the name of Jesus mm -hmm. and my name be not written. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seventy got it wrong, so I'm pretty sure a lot more have gotten it wrong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you warned, beloved. Mm -hmm. Check for your name. Yes, Make sure that your name is written by virtue of the witness of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Such so that you know you're his and he's yours. Yeah. Woo, yeah. I, I, you got to be like Job. Though he slay me, yes. yet, yet yeah. will I trust him. Mm -hmm. You got to be to the extent that the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Who mm -hmm. sink or swim, I'm going to trust him. Oh, mm -hmm. Now Jesus goes on, he says, many will say unto me in that day. Mm -hmm. Many, not a, not a little, mm -hmm. but oh, many. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure it's going to be more than 70. What do you oh, think, Pastor? More than 70. <laughs> many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? Mm -hmm. Oh, God, this sounds like what the 70 were doing. Yeah. Yeah. They were moving and under the unction of the Holy Ghost. Because yeah. folks will tell you that in a minute. I got the unction. I don't even know what that means. Is that, is that like sweet tea or nothing? <laughs> I got the unction. <laughs> moving and prophesying in his name. And then they said also that they cast out devils. Mm -hmm. and, did, and in thy name. Mm -hmm. Look at this now. In thy name done many wonderful works. Mm -hmm. The enemy has a way of camouflaging uh -oh. and allowing you to think that your name is written and all you can base it on is your efforts. Have you ever talked to somebody and all they talk about is look what I've done? God, Listen, even though they say God gave them the work or God blessed their life, yes. at the conclusion before the period, they talk about themselves. Yes and tell you how great they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I thank God he was good to me, but I've been better than better. I've heard people say, I'm wonderful. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, damn, and he said, cast out devils. Mm -hmm. Do wonderful works. Mm -hmm. And he said, then I will profess unto them, mm -hmm. I never knew you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, just speaking his name uh -huh. is not sufficient mm -hmm. if your name is not written. Uh -huh. Depart from me, ye that work God, help us. He said work iniquity. Uh -huh. mm. work it. You would think that they're doing some good stuff here. It's interesting, when I meet other pastors or meet other people and they don't know anything about you, first thing they want to begin is size you up. Uh -huh. How big is your work? Yeah. How many folk you got? Uh -huh. What you do? <laughs> Why? Because the world views success as, as, as greatness. Yes. They view success as being in the right place at the right time. Uh -huh. But sometimes your success can become your failure. Yes, sir. Because when you begin to see yourself, uh, even as the one that built the barn and he was yes, so wonderful, yes. he said, I'm going to build another. Yes. Mm. He didn't realize that his soul belonged to God. Amen. Even though on the outside he looked successful, yeah. on the inside he was dry bone. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He talked a good game. It didn't say he was nasty. It didn't say he didn't like people. It didn't say he didn't take care of his family. It didn't say he wasn't a hard worker. But Jesus said that a certain night, a certain day, he said, thou fool. This night, thy soul be required of thee. So therefore, he forgot to check 
for his name. Lord have mercy. And he said, I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work in the iniquity. Sovereign authority in his name is ours only as we do his will yes. through his name. Yes. You can't say you're doing wrong and still call it right yes. and expect right to come out of it. Yes. Hmm. Amen. I'm going to do something nice to you, but you better say thank you. Uh, <laughs> mm. Now, listen, when I help you, you better know you got helped. <laughs> Amen. You've been warned, beloved. Check for your name. Amen. Check yourself at the door. Yeah. And make sure you got your stuff straight. Amen. Mm. Old folks, you talk about sending up timber. I think some of it came down to hit us in the head. Yes. Amen. But yes. well, we ought to be able to examine yes. ourselves. Yes. Yes. The scripture declares so that we know we are indeed yes. in the faith. Yes. And not just going through the motions. Yes. Yes. Check for your name. You've been warned, beloved. Check for your name. His name alone is the seal of confidence in his name. It is the confidence that we have in his name. Yeah. Revelation 3 and 5 says this. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white raiment. Mm. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. Understand this. He that overcometh is the same shall be clothed in white raiment. He says, listen. Because of the name uh -huh. and because you chose to walk in his authority, he said, I ain't going to block out your name, but I'm going to tell my father about you. Yeah. Woo, Lord. Yeah. Be warned, beloved. Amen. Check All right. for your name. Check for your Make man. sure that what you do is in his name. The word of God is unchangeable. Yes. Can't change what God said. Your name is safe if he wrote it down. Uh -huh. yeah. Your name is safe. Woo, glory. If he wrote it down. Revelation 22 and 19, he says, listen, if any man take away from the words of this book of this prophecy, God shall take away the part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things that are written in this book. He that Testi which testified these things, surely I come. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. You've been warned, beloved. Check for your name. Luke 10 and 20. Notwithstanding, in this rejoice not, that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice. Because your names are written in heaven. You've been warned. Check for your name. Maybe there's someone that.